Hey, sis, you're a little late getting your planner together for 2023. It's okay. It's still the beginning of January. I got you covered. Hey, guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I set up my 2023 binder planner, and it's a very easy process. I've already made a video showing you how to make the binder planner itself, but this is a video on how to set it up for the year. And you want to have your binder set up for your purpose. Don't just, you know, have a planner just to have something to do. But a binder is for a purpose. And you have to know your purpose before you can have a purpose for your binder. You want to pray over your plans. Kind of listen to what God is telling you. And um, all the things that you're going to be doing for the year, whether it's for your home, for yourself, or your your ministry or whatever God has assigned you to do personally in life, all that is going to be summed up and it's going to help you in this binder. So you want to make sure you have concise plans and you know it's set up how you want it to be. You know it's personally tailored for you. That's why I made this binder planner because I didn't like a lot of the other planners that I saw. Uh, I wanted to be in control of every aspect of it, how it was set up, how it was going to function for me, how it was going to be decorated, because I'm very picky about, you know, the decor and the, the stickers and all that stuff. So I made it myself and that's what it looks like. And then on the side, it says daily planner and it says so watch out world and then believe down there. So all kinds of inspirational quotes, things that will help me, things that will encourage me, keep me mindful of my purpose and the vision that God has for my life and my household and all that good stuff. So follow along with the video and also look at the other video, the how, how to make this binder planner. That's going to be attached at the end of this video and also down below in the description box of this video. All right, so let's get started. So this is the night before the video. I did a little leg work then. Um, I don't like to waste time. So while I was watching TV, I killed two birds with one stone and I went ahead and started decorating the page. And this I get from Paper Studio, which is from Hobby Lobby. And I get my stickers from Etsy and then some I just print off of Google. I use Crayola pencils, colored pencils. I like them better than markers. Um, they just look a little better to me, look a little bit more clean and more professional, if you want to say that. I just love the look better. And you can erase. Mm -hmm. You can erase your mistakes. So here's what I came up with. And I'll tell you why I made two pages exactly the same later on in the video. Excuse my mess, y'all, but I'm back in my lab again. Right now, what I am doing is transferring over my calendars and daily schedules and, you know, everything. I'm taking all that out for 2022. Here you see October, September, August. Um, but I'm taking it all out for 2022. And I am putting in new templates from 2023. So love these, love these, love these. I print these templates off on the internet. I just Google them and I print them off from the internet and they are my favorite. I love this layout. You can get them in portrait or landscape. And of course, this is, you know, what I have chosen. And I just love to make my own templates for my calendar, for my planner. And it, it doesn't matter if you're trendy, traditional, whimsical, whatever it is. It just get, kind of gives you an outlet. And I actually just love sitting down when I'm kind of doing nothing, which is very rare. So if I'm binge watching something, watching a show or something like that, I can do this. And this is almost mindless. You know, it's just kind of how you feel. Uh, you come up with a color scheme and go from there. So this is January 2023. I just kind of did a mute color scheme, which I absolutely love here. And for January, what I did was just kind of pick the theme of time, time and celebration for the new year and things like that. So I don't like it to be overcrowded with a lot of decoration, uh, just, you know, kind of, I won't say minimalistic either, because I love to have stuff, you know, I love little pictures, little um, icons and different things like that. So you just 
find your happy medium and go from there. So anyway, January is a new year, start of a new year. So that's what I have up there. I hope you can see this. This is a new year and got over here like cheers to the new year. This says um, NYE, New Year's Eve. And of course, December's not on here. So I just put it at the very first day. And then I have some glasses over here. You all know I have new glasses. So I just kind of put these over here, just kind of something kind of whimsical. This would be my bill payment time. And I'll be into my books and into my uh, laptop and all that. So just kind of put that there. I'm doing a photo shoot around this time. So I put a camera there and then a clock here because January is just like, okay, it's time. It's time to reset time for new goals, time for, you know, this, that, and the other. So I put the clock there and then it says, kiss me at midnight, just something cute that matched the other scheme. So this, all these little um, stickers, they came on a, uh, let's see here, something like this. And I get it from Hobby Lobby and it's from Paper Studio. Those are some of my favorite stickers. And some of the stickers I make myself um, as far as printing them off, rather. I print them off from Google and I cut them out and paste them on. Or I get some off of Etsy and then some from Hobby Lobby. So I just I kind of mix it up. I like to mix it up because I don't like just one kind of standard thing. I like to mix things up. So I got um, the Paper Studio stickers, put them on here. And Paper Studio gives you two sheets of the same decor, the same stickers. So I had the exact same thing for two because I have a YouTube planner and then I have my regular everyday planner for me, my personal planner. So I'm creative and artsy and all that stuff, but y'all, I don't have all the time in the world to just be making separate, you know, decorations and coming up with everything. <laughs> so two of the same is fine for me. Uh, of course, there will be different things that I'm doing for YouTube, different things that I'm doing for my personal planner. And um, of course, the, the info will be different, but uh, the setup here is the same. So I absolutely love that. And this is my YouTube planner. Also, guys, when you are transferring old items out of your planner, um, you know, the schedules and different calendar dates, make sure you transfer reoccurring events like appointments, doctor's appointments or whatever, mammograms or anything. Make sure you transfer all that over into the new year schedule. So I'm just going to try to backtrack through this. This is a whole pile of from December 22nd to January of last year. All these notes and different things like that. I'm going to go through and make sure that if there's anything that I need to transfer over that I do that. Make sure nothing's, you know, really important left in here that I've forgotten about. So I have everything all ready to go here. All I have to do is hole punch my other calendar pages, my templates. And so this is February through December. I've already done January. And I love the way it came out, the colors, as I mentioned earlier. And, um, yep, I love the little design features that I put on there. Just It's, it's eye-catching for me. I love things to be eye-catching, and you want to make sure that you detail it to how you want it done. You want to use stickers and uh, colors that are going to encourage you and kind of, you know, make you excited to be in your planner. So that's why I love to color coordinate my pages. Like this is gold, like a mauve tan color, black. And um, yeah, just kind of mute colors. And then February will probably be red, of course. So I like to color coordinate my pages according to either how I'm feeling, or the stickers that I have. And also, you don't want to clutter up your stickers on your page. Sundays are my planning days. So I have planners to put on those squares, but I don't want it to look cluttered. So I'm not going to put a planner sticker on each date for Sunday. I'm just going to space them out either every other Sunday or like I have, you know, two spaces left in between here. And um, just these little dumbbells here to remind me, of course, to work out and keep that in the forefront of my mind. It's not going to be just one day <laughs> of the month, of course, but I just wanted to put that on there, you know, just to, yeah, remember to work out, Tracy. So, of course, it's over here, you know, on my actual to-do list, but my decorated page with the stickers on it. I want to include that on there as well. Thursdays are my 
cleaning day and also my manicure day. So I clean in the morning and then also um, later on in the evening is when I usually do my nails and stuff. So I like a personal mini spa day for myself. So I do that. And so I have a nail polish here and then some cleaning gloves there. And sometimes I may put something up here, but I know that Thursday is my cleaning day and also my nail day. Uh, around here, I have um, some bill payments and stuff, and I have to write it in on the dates that they're due. But this will be like the date that I'm going to be doing like office work and paying bills. So that's why I put my little specs there, my little glasses. And um, then, you know, you have your budgets, everything for, you know, just to remind you that your budgeting is coming up and oh, right here says timing is everything. And I wanted that there for January because regardless of what it is, whether it's a blessings or time for you to make a change, time for you to check on something, you know, timing is everything. There's a time to do something. There's a time to hold back. So I wanted to remind myself, timing is everything. Stay focused. Timing is everything. So yeah, I got that. And then this is my things to do list and I have a God and prayer and my scripture study over here because I want to make sure to do that first thing in the morning. So that catches my eye there. And even though I work out in the morning, when I work out, I do that in the morning. And then that's right here. Sometimes you can't put everything in order. You just have to put it kind of where it flows and that's where it fit right here. But it's dead center. You know, I can see everything clearly on my page. So I really love that. And up here, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I can circle the day and then put the date and personal things that I have to do for me. I put it here. Tasks for the day is here. Remind myself to stay hydrated, drink my water. Uh, this is like meal planning. I don't always meal prep. Sometimes I do. So if I have to cook every day or every other day, whether I have leftovers, whatever it is, I want to put breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That way you don't go off the rail. You want to make sure you plan your meals too. So you don't, um, you know, you're not just eating a lot of fast food or whatever. You want to make sure you plan your meals. If I have errands and appointments, that goes here. Uh, my vitamins and supplements here, a, a goal for the day, it might be stay on task or work quickly or something like that. I like to put that there. My household chores go here. And y'all, I've had this so long. Of course, this is here for my children, for Jalen and Isaiah. Jordan's been gone a while, uh, but things that I have to do for them. So, but I still do a lot for them and with them. So that's going to stay here until they are good, grown and gone, <laughs> if that makes sense. Jalen just moved out, but I still do a lot of things with her or uh, I want to keep this here as, you know, as, just as, as a reminder. There's a whole bunch I'm still doing with Isaiah. He's in his senior year. We have plans and things to do, scholarships to fill out, um, get a senior pictures taken, you know, just even things on a daily or a weekly. I leave that there because I still do a lot for and with both of them. So once they are good, good and grown and gone, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to replace this with, but I'll have to replace it with something. I'll be thinking. So anyway, that is everything for this page. And then I have my daily schedule. So I need to stay on task hourly. I don't know about everybody else. Somebody else might just be able to get away with a simple to-do list. That's not me. I need to know what I'm doing. Seven, eight, nine, in between, because I have to stay on task. I have that much stuff to do that I just, I can't leave the day up to chance and just say, you know, I got to do five things and you just do them whenever. Mm -mm, that don't work for me. So my days are filled. And then I have um, just some lined paper right behind that for notes um, for that day. And what I have just started doing, you all, so I don't waste pages, is this will last for about three days, three to four days. I'll have two of these pages per week. 
and these pages last for three to four days so on monday i'll have a page and i have so many tasks to do sometimes they carry over to the next day so i have one of these pages for three to four days and then i'll have that daily schedule here i'll have probably like three of those three or four of those behind one of these if that makes sense so if this is monday and all these things may last three days this page might last monday tuesday wednesday then what i am going to do is put three pages behind this one because this page is going to be up for monday then i have another page just like this for tuesday and another page just for wednesday and so on and so forth for the week so that's that so i won't go over the planner in detail i've already done a planner video like how to make the planner and what it's for i've already made that so see that video right at the end of this one i'm going to link it at the end of this video and also link it below in the description box on this video but basically this is the keeper of the home just remind myself of who i am according to god and what i need to do for him and for my husband my children my home and my personal growth so I have that as a reminder every day when I open it up, it's there and it just keeps me focused on my purpose. So I know my purpose for God within myself and for my home. So what I'm going to do is I'm go ahead and put this here because this is January. This is my first little tab here. It's January and that has a clear front for the new year. And then February is here. So I'm going to hole punch all the other calendar pages and put them where they need to go. So February, then March, um, April, and all that's here. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So I usually punch about three pages at a time. Right here I have May, June, and July. So I'll just put it in the puncher. Make sure I get this correct because I hate when the pages are crooked. <laughs> so, just make sure you have it lined up good. There we go. And then I'm going to do the rest of these and put them in the planner. All right, guys. So here's February behind the February tab. And then here is March. April. May. June and so forth and so on. I'm not going to go through all of them. But of course, you see that I still have to decorate all of them which is fine with me because I usually decorate a couple of weeks before the month starts. That way I know better, you know, just kind of how I'm feeling. You know, sometimes the colors don't come until, you know, a couple of weeks or a week before and, you know, the total layout and the purpose of next month, you know, what's going on and basically the vision for the next month. But I do go ahead and make copies of the daily schedule and uh, hole punch them and also put the lined piece of paper in there for notes. I go ahead and, you know, make copies of that and make a whole bunch so that I can fill it at any time. So also over here, I have two clear pockets and I have my, my budget turned over here, my household budget. It's right here, but I have it turned over for privacy reasons, of course. But uh, I have these two clear pockets here and I keep things like stamps in here sometimes. Sometimes I keep them in my desk drawer. But um, there's other things that I keep in the planner pockets. And also I have planner pockets in the back too. I keep stickers in and extra sheets that I copy. Uh, let's see, like my daily schedule and things. I keep it back there too. So that's basically it. That is how I set up my planner for 2023. And you guys look around the channel. There's plenty of other uh, videos that I do. I do vlogs, how to 
cooking videos, and so many things. So I would love for you to become a part of the Tracy's Place family. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because when that notification bell is on, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. All right, so go ahead and click right about here and that'll take you to how to make this binder planner. All right, bye.